Hi yogis, Carlene Rose here, and welcome to Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. September is National Yoga Month, so I wanted to do something a little bit different to celebrate and have some yoga chats or yoga conversations about topics in yoga. So this week I wanted to start with something that makes a lot of sense, the benefits of yoga. <laughs> Obviously you have your reasons for starting to practice yoga. There are tons of benefits, tons you may not even realize. So we'll go over just a couple of them real quick to get you an idea of some of the benefits of this amazing practice. So of course, the obvious ones, they're gonna help increase flexibility, balance, strength. You can even uh, increase your stamina. It can help improve your breathing with all of the prana and breath work that we do. That can help promote endurance. Um, but of course, there's a lot of other more subtle um, benefits that we might not realize we're getting because it's not necessarily happening during the practice where we'll notice it. You know, we'll notice that we're building strength and working on our flexibility, but we might not notice that we're also um, lowering the amount of cortisol. So that stress hormone that make you really stressed, we're actually lowering those levels of cortisol, lowering our overall stress. It can help reduce anxiety as well as anxiety symptoms been shown that it might be able to help fight depression and depression symptoms as well. Part of that can be related to the reducing cortisol levels. Uh, it can promote sleep quality. It does help boost your melatonin, which is a huge part of how and why we sleep. So having good levels of melatonin are of course really beneficial and getting good sleep is really beneficial to your overall health. Uh, it can reduce inflammation in your body, which is a huge um, contributor to a lot of pain that people feel, a lot of chronic pain, and some, even some chronic um, illnesses and issues, a lot of that can be influenced by inflammation, so helping reduce overall inflammation in your body. Um, sleeping well actually also helps reduce inflammation in your body, so sleeping well kind of goes hand in hand with that one. Uh, it can help balance your metabolism, it's great for weight management, notice I say weight management, not necessarily loss, because Maybe you're trying to gain weight, or maybe you're just trying to stay where you feel healthy, where you feel good in your skin. Whatever it is, yoga can help you do it, which is part of one of the awesome appeals of the practice. Uh, it's also really great for um, mind-body health. So a lot of the things I mentioned are actual physical things that can change in your mind. Um, oh, one I almost forgot, lowering your blood pressure. Always a great thing. Happy heart, you know, healthy heart, we want that. Um, but having these physical changes in our body can also pre create some mental changes in our body, mental benefits, including maintaining a sense of calm, um, reducing that feeling of stress and anxiety, uh, but also just healthy eating and overall quality of life. Um, if you're taking care of your body and you're, you're treating your body like you love your body, which you should, um, you know, it promotes just this feeling of healthy eating and just generally wanting to be healthier and treat your body well and treat your body with what it needs. So you can unite kind of that mind-body understanding with your yoga practice. Uh, it really helps you stay focused in the present moment as well. And that's eventually something that you can transfer into your daily life, which is really cool. So as you're practicing yoga, you're really focused on the pose and the breath and what you're doing in that moment. And you know, the goal is to kind of shut out the other stuff and really just be present to the practice. And then you can start taking that to your daily life and start having less of a reaction, less reactive um, feelings to stuff. And you can really stay in your present moment, in your core truth of who you are and start deciding how you wanna react about stuff in your life. So that comes with practicing. Um, it's not right away. Again, these things do take time, but that mind-body connection, that control over your mind-body, uh, you should start noticing that right away if you are are paying attention and being just a little bit intuitive to what your body's telling you. So tons of benefits, of course. I'm sure there's some that I forgot, um, but hopefully that gives you an idea of some of the benefits you might not be realizing that you're getting in yoga and continue to encourage you to practice so you can maximize on all of those benefits. Uh, next week, we're gonna talk about some common yoga myths and why they're, well, myths, they're not right. So tune in next week, make sure you're subscribed to the uh, YouTube channel so you get the update for the video as well as get on the Lincoln Nerdy Yogi's email list for the exclusive content I have for you there. Namaste.